Hey guys, how's it going today? It's a beautiful, blessed day. Thank Jesus for this day. It's uh, nice and sunny here in Michigan. Just hanging out and um, printing some cane koozies today uh, for one of my clients, uh, Jacobsville Farms. Um, when you're printing cane koozies, you want to make sure that uh, you you uh, pick the types of koozies that you know you really want to use. There are some that are made for sublimation. Then there's some that are made for like screen printing and uh, you know heat, like just you know heat press vinyl. For today, I'm going to be pressing these with uh, sublimation paper and inks. I use um, Cobra inks for my sublimation because they're really good. I'm not sponsored or anything, but I do like to give them a shout out because they have some great inks. Um, these can koozies are white on one side. As you can see here, I've already printed. Um, one of the sides so that you can kind of see how they turn out once they're printed. Um, so yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and get these printed up. I already have my image printed out. I have four of them here on my heat press. I'm using a 15 by 15 heat press. They work really, really good. Um, they also make 16 by 20s, but I do find that the 15 by 15s, they're just way more convenient because the area isn't too large and pushed out. So when you're lining up your artwork, you wanna make sure that you put it on there so that there's a little bit of a bleed, meaning extra area around the, the around the cane koozie so that it can cover the whole printing area. So I just line that on there. Then I, some people like to use tape. You can use a, a heat sensitive tape and you can tape your design down. Me, I just put it on there because it seems to work just fine. And I go ahead and put them on all four on my cane koozies. I have to do 20 of these, so that means I have to print the image 40 times. That way I can do the front and the back. Paper does like to curl up a little bit because the heat's coming from the top of the heat press. That's okay as long as it doesn't curl too much. Shouldn't be a big issue. Again, like I was saying, you can use uh, heat tape if you'd like. It does make it a little more uh, convenient so that you don't have to worry about the paper curling or anything like that. All right, so I got all four on there. I heat press these at 385 degrees for 30 seconds. Light pressure. Forgive my dirty heat press. I probably should dust it off, but I, every time I think about it, I start working on the next project and forget about it. When you're doing sublimation, you do want to make sure you're using sublimation inks. Um, there's a difference between an inkjet ink and a sublimation ink. Sublimation ink is made to be transferred onto sublimation and printable products like koozies and things like that. While inkjet ink is made for printing on paper. Make sure you get the right ink so that you don't waste your money. After it's done pressing, I just go ahead and take the paper off. You want to move the paper straight off of it. You don't want to move it side to side or up and down because you can get what's called ghosting, where the image moves to a whole other location because this is still hot, so the ink is still trying to transfer. Once I remove it, it's done with its transfer. So I move it quickly so that way it doesn't do that. Now you can see here. All four of the can koozies are done. Now, one thing that you will have on the bottom is a little bit of a white line, which is okay because if you think about it, when it's set, a can is set inside of the can koozie, no one is gonna see that white line. Also along the edges, you will have a little white line here as well. There is a way that you can uh, avoid that a little more. You could use a piece of uh, one inch or half inch foam. Let me see if I can find where I put that to use some one inch foam um, and then put like a craft paper on top of it but I don't do that I think that that is that's okay you know because the image area is viewable and you know the print isn't obstructed or anything so I'm gonna go ahead and take these after they're done you want to just set them aside you know let them cool a little bit some people don't like to stack them because if you stack them while they're too hot, 
you know, you can have the same effect of the ghosting. So you wanna make sure that they're cool enough so that you can stack them without, you know, having your image transfer too much. And that's, that's pretty much the process. You just go ahead and you go to your next ones, load them up so that you can get them printed. Um, if you guys have any questions about sublimation or if you have interest in these types of products, you can email me at theshirtsink at gmail.com. Find us on Facebook as well. Um, again, make sure that you guys like and subscribe for more videos. I'll try to pr uh, post videos a little more often. I appreciate you guys taking the time to watch this video, share with your friends, and uh, God bless.